Sorry, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Radash. The bonus to the elder apostles, great millstone, and salutation and much love. Yaki out there pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. And, uh, you know, just out here and uh, soaking up the fresh air filled with chemtrails and, you know, just Lord willing the spirit flow through us so we can do an edifying lesson. And, um, you know, let's go to the earthquakes. Um, go to 2nd Azrus 9. And we'll go because right now, today, this morning, you had a 7.5 or 7.4 magnitude earthquake. All right, that take place in uh, Mexico, and not just that, but there's there's all there's more. There's like a, there was one that was 5.0. So you got every day you got earthquakes happening, you know. Again, they're getting stronger and stronger. All right, so just wait till they, these earthquakes come to America on on, a, on an intense level like they've been happening around the world. Okay, I'm talking about where it leaves the city in ruins, man. Okay, so you know these are the, some of the signs that the Lord said would be taking place. Uh, before his return, okay. This is just the build up, you know. Uh, like you, you like like the hype man, you know. They like to build things up, mm -hmm. you know. That's his job, and that's what the Lord is doing with these prophecies. All right, the prophecies are hyping up the Lord uh, for the Lord's return. Okay, that's right. Go there. ahead. Uh, this is a uh, second Ezra. Just start from the top, bro. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of. Uh, second Ezra nine verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently." In itself yeah so what are you supposed to measure how do you measure the times diligently through the prophecies reading the prophecies all right understanding what's taking place right now is is uh, is the is the signs of the time so to say okay Go ahead. Go ahead. it says and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time but when the highest will begin to visit the world which that's, he made that's right so the Lord has begun to, to, to visit the earth and how is he visiting the earth? Through these plagues, all right? Through, the, through, through these uh, earthquakes. Through all the prophecies, okay? Pestilence. Pestilences. This is how the Lord has begun to visit the earth. So that, and these, the Lord specifically is doing this so that his prophets are able to understand the times that we're in. Okay? Because ultimately the prophecies are for us to know the time it is, the times that we're in. Okay? This is the measuring stick. Which is the prophecies are found in the scriptures, the Holy Bible. Go ahead. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people. Yep. Earthquakes and uproars of the people. Don't you have uproars all throughout the earth right now? You got uproars here in America, sedition, people protesting and turning violent. This is taking place all over the world. And then you got earthquakes all over the world. And you can say, well, there's always been earthquakes. Yeah, they, they, sure, they sure as hell have been, but never on this level. Yep. Okay. And, it's, and again, they're going to start to get even pow more powerful and more frequent. Matter of fact, Google, go to, you got your phone with you? Yeah, come Google real quick. Just type in earthquake into Google. All right. And let's just see, because it should be the first thing that pops up, and it'll sh show you like a couple of them. Because this is what's taking place right, right, right now, all right? Earthquake. All right, so let's see. Just today. You had a 7.4 Mexico, mm. 5.9 in some island, Rhoda Island, Six, a five, another 5.9 in Indonesia, okay, uh, what is this, 5.6 in India, Iceland, 6.0, and this is all within a week, Oklahoma, 4.2, another one in Iceland, 5.7. A 7.4 in New Zealand. Damn. All right, so this is this is come on, man. Yeah. You, this ain't never happened before like that. And these aren't these Esau ain't even really reporting them like this, man. You gotta you gotta go do your own research to find out what's taking place on the earth. Right now, all you hear on the news is is uh, COVID 19 this, COVID 19 that, Black Lives Matter this, Black Lives man. Esau's a damn devil, and he's using his deception to to so you don't you so you're not able to measure the times. All right, he gonna he gonna show you what he wants on the television, so that the, the average day moron, all right, don't even know what time he's living in, cause what you don't you ain't hearing that Esau ain't televising all right the, the prophecies of the Bible. Well, that's why the men of the Lord are out here to what? Cause we again the scriptures is for the prophets. We we gonna understand what time we living in, and then we we broadcast it. All right, we tell uh, uh we're the ones televising the prophecies. Okay, we're, and that's why the Lord uh, calls us watchmen. Okay. And prophets, because we told, we've been told you about these things were coming, and now they're here. We're telling you that it's happening. All right, you got, got some. Yeah, real quick. Uh, Matthew's thirteen, and um, 
verse 9, it says, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Mm -hmm. and the, this is this is coming out of uh, uh, the, the, that's the words of the Lord, right? That's right, brother. That's, this is the words of the Lord. And guess what? We come in, in the stead of, of Yahweh Shai, okay? He, we're doing this. We're, say, we're saying in the same message that he was sending 2,000 years ago. Go ahead. Con, verse 10, it says, And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Mm -hmm. And he answered, verse eleven. And he answered and said so unto again, them. So again, the scriptures is the parables. That's right. The, from from Genesis to Revelation, right. these are parables, man. Because everybody can't understand them. Go ahead. That's right. It says uh, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. And he was talking to the disciples. So when he said it was given unto you, who was he talking to? The disciples, right? The Go on to become apostles. They were prophets, all right. Just like Yahweh Shai was a prophet. Go ahead. But to them, it is not given. That's right. So that's why they're going to be watching TV and worrying about Black Lives Matter instead of worrying about all the prophecies of the Lord that the Lord said would be happening. All right. Mm -hmm. See, because instead of uh, preparing yourself for the return of the Lord, what are most people doing? Preparing themselves from getting COVID nineteen, wearing mask, uh, partaking in protests that it's not going to get you anywhere. Mm -hmm. You had, you're gonna say something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, pretty much, and, and also to the back the brother up. You know, tearing down your own city, man. Mm -hmm. You got Jake just pretty much ransacking uh, Foot Lockers and in certain places, and he's destroying his own city, man. And then now you got this uh, whole BLM movement, uh, and they just uh, modified the flag or the pride flag, man. So now they just introduce uh, the black and the brown colors to the flag, man, which is pretty much you know mocking you, Jakes. You know, yeah. mocking you, Israelites, man. The you know? alphabet crew. That's right, <laughs> right, brother. All that and all that is set up. You know, it's all it's all sponsored by Esau, man. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, kind of. Uh, Second Ezra uh, nine verse uh, three again. It says, "Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world." So we just we we, we just showed you. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, you can, if you don't believe us, go That's Google crazy. it yourself, yeah. and you're gonna see. And it and it, and it said it shall be seen. You have seen earthquakes. You have yeah. seen the uproars, uproars of the people. <laughs> At least Esau's showing you that. You know, he's showing you the uproars. They've been happening, but what now is intensifying? Because remember the, the the yellow vest protests? Yeah. That would been that went on for over a year. Yeah, half, yeah, and guess half. what? Now it's now the new one's gonna be all these uh protests with the, the Black Lives Matter and all that. All right. And that's not gonna stop. It's just gonna continue and continue and it's gonna get worse and worse. Right. To the point where people are gonna be killing each other out there, man. Yeah. They ain't gonna be protesting about this and they're just gonna be out there killing each other. All right, because soon the food's going to start running out. That's right, bro. And what you going to do then? You, you think you're going to go out there and protest Black Lives Matter on an empty stomach? <laughs> no. You're going to go and, and loot because that's what these protests turn into. They end up looting, polluting, you know, like the brother said, your own damn city. Right. Like a moron, okay? Burning your, your, the, the, your local, fucking up the local grocery store. Yeah, no, now where are you going to get your food at, right. you know? Go ahead. Kind of got something for you, Akia. Um, some hot. Uh, Isaiah 42, uh, the point is 19. I'm sorry, verse 17. Isaiah 42 and 17. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed mm -hmm. that trust in graven images that say to the molded images, ye are our gods. And that's all. That's the that's the, the majority of our people. You trusting in these these idols. All right, your little Cesare statues. Right. All right, well, whatever the hell you worship. It's all. It's, it's you're gonna be ashamed when you realize that ain't the, that ain't the, what you're supposed to be worshiping, all right? You ain't supposed to be praising something that you had to you had to make or you bought that shit on sale for four ninety nine. Come on, man. Con verse eighteen. Hear ye deaf and look ye blind mm -hmm. that ye may see. Yeah, that's what we're telling you. But like the Lord said, hey, it, it, it's, it, ultimately it ain't given unto them, all right? But we still, the Lord still has us out here telling you, look, open your damn eyes or clean out your ears. Listen up, you know, take heed. Because what? We're, we're getting uh, uh, the blood off our hands by doing that. All right? Because we could care less about how you're going to die. Yeah. We worried about how the righteous is going to be saved. But what? We still have a job to warn you. All right? We got these guys talking about, well, well why are you guys so concerned with the two-thirds? We're not concerned with them. We still, we got to warn them. That's it. You know? Go ahead. Con, verse 19. Who is blind? But my servant, mm -hmm. or deaf as my messenger that I sent, who is blind as he that is perfect, and blind as the Lord's servant. Mm -hmm. Hey, because at one point we were blind. All right, we were deaf. But what the Lord took took that uh that, that uh um them scales off our eyes, like He did with Saul. All right, 
And then he, he's cleaned our ears out, man. You got to get rid of that earwax. Mm -hmm. That spiritual earwax, man. Right. You can't hear a damn thing. It goes in through one ear and out through the other. It's, it's Again, it's like a parable unto you people. All right? But what? Unto those that are going to wake up, the Lord's going to uh, uh, heal them, you know, and they're going to be able to see and hear. Go ahead. Con, verse 20, last precept law says, Seeing many things, but thou observest not. See, yeah, you're seeing many things, but you you ain't observing it. You yeah. just think it's just it's just part of the normal life. Look, this wasn't happening ten years ago, twenty years ago, two years ago. Is, what you see on the earth right now, the condition of the earth, what's going on, this wasn't happening. Right. A year ago wasn't happening. Okay, go ahead. Hey, Con, uh, in um in our second essence, it says um uh, birth pains, man. You mm -hmm. know these are beginning of sorrows, man. Yep, yep. You know, so it's only gonna get worse, man. You know, you you Jake's think it's gonna get better. And, Oh no, nah, you know, a COVID COVID nineteen eventually uh, yeah. uh go away. But now uh Round you go two. on Google. Yeah, you go on Google, it's saying uh, uh coronavirus uh cases uh spiked in Tampa, man. Yep. Spiked in Florida and St. Petersburg. You have three baseball players a race that uh so called tested positive for the COVID nineteen, man. Shit, they oh I'll tell you later. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. But, All right. uh, uh Florida's supposed to be the new epicenter, man. Woo! Because they keep going up, the cases keep going up. Yes, but sir. I don't see nobody getting tested. <laughs> I went by a testing center earlier. Hey, like three cars, and that's the people that work there, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, though. Uh, 20 again, verse 20. Uh, seeing many things, but thou observest not. Mm -hmm. Opening the ears, but he heareth not. Yeah, you, you, the Lord, that's how, how <laughs> you're observing the prophets, you're hearing the prophets, but you, you, ain't, you ain't really hearing them, you know? You're not taking, you, 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 you're not understanding what we're telling you, okay? So what? You're going to end up perishing with the multitude. That's right. Okay, because what you're not watching, you're not measuring the times, you're not taking heed. Because look, if so, if you know, again, the, using the the analogy of the watchman, okay, on the towers, if the if the if the, the watchman's on the tower blowing the trumpet to the tune of the enemy's coming, right. all right, and he's screaming and telling you, you know, and you're just chilling, all right. Well, when the when the enemy comes in like a flood, all right, storms through the gate, mm -hmm. then you that's on you, you that's your problem. You didn't want to, you heard the trumpet, you heard the watchman, you saw him up there. But what, you just wanted to go on all lackadaisical, you know, act like everything's all cool. All right, well, but you don't have no one to blame but yourself. Yep. Kind of, and to back the brother up, the scriptures say, then shall they know that a prophet was among them. Because mm -hmm. right? right now we're singing this, this song, and you Jakes, you ain't, you ain't, uh, we piping unto you, but you're not dancing, that's okay. the sake. So it's going to come a time where you're going to actually miss that song. You're going to want to hear that song, like, damn, where them brothers at? I hey, got, I'll structure. back you up real quick. We quoted, this is Ezekiel 33 and 33. Mm -hmm. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Right, and like the brother said, you know, if you was paying attention, you seeing these earthquakes. So the brothers just went into a Google, and these are all earthquakes, San Francisco. These are all earthquakes that happened this week, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you were paying attention, you would see that, okay, man, I, I need to listen to these guys. You know, you, you see us going live on the videos, but you just scroll right down to the next future video, man. Yeah. You know, so you're going to find out. That, videos. That's man. right. You're going to find out that I should have paid attention and listened to the spirit that was speaking through them. Because it's not us that's speaking, it's the Lord speaking through us. So that I can get warned and I can be clean, man. Because this word is how you get clean and pure, man. So mm -hmm. that you can be presented holy or acceptable unto the Lord, man. That's right. The, you know? The scriptures say the washing of the word. That's right. You got to be brainwashed, that's all right? right? That's right. <laughs> and that brain, being brainwashed ain't a bad thing. Because mm -hmm. what? You're being cleaned. Your, your mind, your heart, la'av, is being cleaned, all right? Through the what? The word, like the brother said, you know? That's right. The, 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 the rivers of living water. Go ahead. That's right. I'm gonna go back to second uh, Ezra. Second Ezra is nine and three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou un thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Yeah. So these things were spoken before they started happening. Okay. And it be it went even before you was born. All right. These these everything that's happening right now. These events were written thousands of years ago that's right so you can't say that oh it was just a, no this is the the it's not just the book this is the book that's right bro. okay that's right this if you had you don't need no other books as long as you have a, a thorough understanding of the scriptures man well we do use other boats to you know to to to, to prove yeah. further prove the yeah. scriptures but this is the book man all right and it because everything was written in here man go ahead i got you uh, isaiah uh, 54 and um, I'm sorry, Isaiah 57 slot. Yeah, so uh, seek you out of the book of the Lord, yep. right? What's that, Isaiah? Oh, 34. I'm tripping. Isaiah 34 and uh, verse 16. 
and it reads, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord mm -hmm. and read. Yeah, what book, man? The scriptures, man. The, the Holy Bible. All right? It's a, it's a collection of books that make up one book. That's right. All right? The, the book of life. <laughs> okay? Go ahead. That's right, bro. Uh, no one of these things shall fail yeah no none of the prophecies are gonna fail so the, if the lord said it's gonna happen it's gonna happen no if ands buts about it okay you can you can and that's why roman 3 and 3 say so what if some did not believe mm. it don't matter if you don't believe that the scriptures what the scriptures say what, what the prophets are telling you because mm. ultimately the prophets is telling you what the words of the lord say all right what the lord speaks through us so if you don't believe it it's still going to come to pass you can you can stand that in the middle of the street and believe that nobody's gonna hit you, but I guarantee you you're gonna get hit. Go ahead. John, none shall want her mate. Mm -hmm. So like the brother said, this is not the book. This is the book, man. The only book, man. Yeah, the, the Quran ain't, ain't, ain't the second no, no. It ain't part of the scriptures, man. Con, it says, For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Mm -hmm. you no, know, so that's why uh scriptures say um holy men who are moved by the Holy Spirit, man. You know, this, this is a gathering, these collection of books, like the brother said, to make it one book, all right? It all uh, uh, co co hands with, it, with each other, man. Mm -hmm. You have prophets. Uh, our forefathers were prophets in the book of Genesis, man. Our forefather Jacob prophesied, all right, the, the, what shall befall thee in the latter days, man. You see? So that was in Genesis. Then you got the, the, the book of the prophets. Then you have uh, the, the apostles in the New Testament, all right, that pretty much spoke about the prophets, because there is no new prophets, prophecies. Yeah. So they pretty much reiterated all right, what was said, man, like 2 Peter 4, example, the third chapter says what? Uh, seeing these things shall be dissolved. Well, he's talking about thermonuclear missiles, man. The same thing Isaiah spoke about, man. This one shall be with fire, fuel of fire, you see? So it all correlates with, it, with, it, with itself, man. And that's the spirit of the Lord pretty much gathering uh, 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 his men uh, uh, through the spirit, all right, to pretty much write down these prophecies so that you Jakes can get it, man. But Jake don't want to get it, man. Jake too worried about uh, uh, twerking videos, okay, and what he going to come up on the next scheme, man. A, a get rich scheme, man. Yeah. You know, pretty, where's the uh, next protest gonna be at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pulling everything out of his 401k before uh, uh, pretty much <laughs> shit go down yeah. the drain. Instead of Jake see the prophecies, but instead of him saying, "Damn, I need to get right," Jake like, "Damn, I need to get all this money out yeah. my account. I need to live my life." Yeah, we're all gonna die sometime. Okay, well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's if, if that's your opinion and you're entitled to it. All right, so uh, whatever you got, and we close all out. All right, kind of yeah. yeah, yeah, kind of. Second Ezra nine and four. Then shalt thou well understand. That the Most High spake of those things from the beginning that were before thee, even from the beginning. Mm -hmm. For like it's all that is made in the world hath a beginning, and an end, and the end is manifest. That's right, man. So the, the, this world, all right, matter of fact, go to Matthew 24 real quick. Because this is this is this world's coming to an end. And this is what the disciples were asking the Lord. When when's gonna be the end of the world? I think it's like verse six or something. Gotcha. Gotcha, brother. Because look, this this world is coming to an end. We ain't saying it's gonna explode, or you know, it ain't gonna just disappear. No, this rulership, this world, this current society, the the, the mentality, all of this is gonna be is coming to an end. All right, and this is what the, the disciples were looking for and hastening for. And guess what? They're back today. All right, the men of the Lord are back today, and now we get to see the end of this thing. All right, go ahead. Kind, I'm gonna go to three, then six yes, for you. Uh, Matthew, say Matthew three twenty four verse three. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. That's what I was on. When it, yeah, yeah. That's Con, it. Con, yeah. Con, I got you, bro. St. Matthew 24, verse 3, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? There you go, the end of the world. So the, the, the disciples, the apostles, yeah. they were ta asking the Lord, when's the end of the world? When's the end of the world? What's going to be the signs? So what y'all talking about in these churches? The disciples weren't asking, it's hooting and hollering and singing and clapping their hands and you know, passing around cornbread and, and, and pork loins, you know, they were asking the Lord about the end of the world. That's that's what you should be talking about. All right. Because now the signs are happening that the Lord uh, goes on and tells them about. All right. God, verse six and jump down to verse six. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, seeing that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. Yeah, all these things must come to pass. Go ahead. But the end is not yet. Yeah, so the end is not yet. But what? These things been happening. So we were already in the in the transition. The, the beginning of sorrows have already begun. Mm -hmm. We are not waiting for the sorrows to begin. They've already begun. Okay. Go ahead. Verse 7. And for nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And that's what you see happening right now. Go ahead. And there shall be famines. And that's, that's going to continue to uh, intensify. Uh, intensify yep 
and pestilences, mm, diseases, and earthquakes. And earthquakes. There we go again with the earthquakes, man. So the Lord specifically talked about earthquakes, man. All right, that's a, a huge sign. Yeah. Go ahead. In diverse places. In diverse places. So that's why we went through that list: Mexico, Indonesia, right. uh, uh, India, America. Yeah. All right. So this, hey, the signs of the times are at hand. All right, the signs of the end of the world. Like the disciples asked about are happening right now. So what is about to happen? The Lord is about to return and restore the kingdom unto Israel. All right. So with that, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone. And salutations and much love to you all came out there. Shalom. Shalom.